Hey everyone, it's Charlene. Thanks for joining me. Today we are making a card with the Craft Your Life Project Kit Casual Bouquets. Now this is from Altenew and I'm going to be using these gorgeous stamps, that one right there, and I'm stamping it out with some black pigment ink. Now I'm going to stamp it in the bottom right hand corner, flip my paper 180 degrees, and then stamp the same image again. This stamp set might be familiar to you. I used it not that long ago in another video. So here's another option for using this stamp set. I love these project kits. They're just a lot of fun and they come with so many different options for making cards. Once I have that done, I'm going to pull out the coordinating stencils that come with the kit. You can see these are layering stencils, so it makes it really easy to pick and choose what areas of your stamp you're going to color and what color you want them to be. It takes no time. It's just a great Whoever came up with these stencils, uh, originally it was an awesome idea because sometimes you just don't feel like breaking out your alcohol ink markers or anything like that. You just want it to be kind of easy coloring and these stencils let you color so easily. You can see I've got a tiny detail brush, but you don't have to use a small brush like that. I do really like these. They're from Picket Fence Studios and I'll link down below in the description to everything that I'm using today. The nice thing about the tiny detail style of uh, ink blending brush is that you can get into all of the little nooks and crevices and you can choose different colors on the same that are close to each other. So I'm using two different shades of green on the leaves and you can see I am putting a lighter green in some spots. And that first one was Simon Says Stamp in Field and this one is Celery. I, I like that lighter green in contrast with the darker green. I think it just creates more interest when you're looking at leaves and you're ink blending them. You could get super detailed on this. You could do kind of the lighter color and then come in with a detail brush and do darker shading. I just wanted this to be really simple, quick, and easy. So I'm coming in coloring the flowers. I'm going to do those in cheeky and blush, which are these really pretty pinkish red colors. They kind of lean more towards the pink side of things. And when I am done getting the flowers colored, I am going to do a fun technique for adding glitter to your card without making a giant mess, <laughs> number one, and without it rubbing off your card. Now, the nice thing about stencils is you can use them for inks, but you can use them for so many other things, right? You can use them for embossing pastes. You can use them for glitter gel. You can use them for texture paste. You can use them for all kinds of things. And today I'm using them with stickles. I'm sure a lot of you have stickles in your crafty stash. They work awesome with stencils. You could use any color. You could use the glitter. You could use whatever you have for this effect. The thing I like about the glitter though, especially with the unicorn color, is that it is transparent. So you're gonna see all of the ink blended colors that you put down but then you're gonna get this nice shine and sparkle when you turn your card in the light. Kind of a similar effect to what I did a few weeks ago where I used the glitter spray, but this takes it up even more. This is very glittery. So if you're looking for a very nice light shine, check out that video I did with the Thermoweb glitter spray. It is awesome. I love that technique. But if you're looking for more glitter, this is this is the way to go. And it truly gives you a glittery finish, not a shimmer, but a glitter. And then because the glitter is suspended in glue, it's essentially a glitter glue, it does not rub off on your hands or anything like that when it is dry. And because you're doing it through a stencil, you use very little. It's actually a very thin coat and it dries relatively fast, which is very nice. So you probably noticed I am not cleaning my stencil between each of these layers. And that's because I'm gonna do some ink splatters on my card. So I wasn't too concerned if a few little stray spots got ink on them. If you are planning on keeping a white background, I would recommend wiping off your stencil in between each layer. So that way you lower the chance of getting ink on your background where it shouldn't be. 
So I've just taken some of the same colors of ink that I used on the card on this in the stencils and I'm using a fan brush and I've just tamped the ink pads down on my glass mat and then I added some water so this gives a very subtle amount of color on the background now here is the fun part with the stickles and you just squeeze your little tube of stickles in the areas of the stencil that you want to have done now keep in mind if you are doing a double-sided thing like I'm doing here you've got to do one side let that side dry and then do the other side because you don't want to stick your stencil over the wet glitter glue the stickles will stick right to it and make it will make a mess if you do that but all you do is you squeeze it into the spots that you want and then you just take a palette knife and you wipe the excess off and that's it and pull it up and you're gonna see here it looks fantastic and it hasn't even dried yet once it dries it's even more sparkly so turning it in the light there look at that but you can't tell when you're looking straight at it because it is transparent love it so now I'm going to use some stitched circle and stitched rectangle dies to cut that panel out I'm also going to cut a circle out of an A2 card base. Now you can see I used a grid transparency to help line up the circle. That makes it a lot easier. And I did the same thing with my card panel. I just did that off camera. So my two circles are going to line up perfectly. So now I'm using some liquid adhesive so I can glue my card panel directly to the card base so that those circles line up. Now I can take the circle that was from the center of my card panel and glue it down with some liquid adhesive. So it's going to go through all the way to the back side of the card base. Hopefully that makes sense. Once that dries completely, I'm going to stick the whole thing back in my Misty and I'm going to stamp my sentiment, which is from the same set. It says, hello, lovely. And I've done that in black pigment ink so that I can come in and use some clear embossing powder just to give this even more shine. We're doing some shiny glittery stuff today. Lots of fun. And I'm just heating that up with my heat gun to melt it. I did run my heat gun on the back there just to try and straighten that out a bit. And now I'm adding a few white gems and these are kind of iridescent. So they're going to pick up the colors that are around them. So they kind of sparkle green and pink which is really nice and I'm just doing those on the diagonal I've got two on the bottom left hand side and I've got three on the upper right hand side I generally use odd numbers and I try to do things in triangle formations I find that is more pleasing to the eye when you're looking at a card so once that's done my card is pretty much finished I'm really happy with how this turned out I hope you guys like it and you can see here in the light all of that gorgeous glitter it's so blingy I love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you picked up some tips and tricks today please be sure to like and subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so that I can continue bringing you more crafty content in the future until next time Happy crafting.